Hi, welcome back. I thought it would be fun to create a Halloween resin clutch purse to add to my collection. I am using some classic Halloween colors, orange, black, white, and I found some beautiful silver crushed glass that I thought would add a nice sparkle to the purse. I will add all items I am using in the description box below. I start by mixing my resin. Once the resin is ready, I start adding in my colors. I start with orange and I'm using a color art sparkly orange that I did add a bit of acrylic paint to because I wanted the orange to be a little bit brighter. I am glad I did because now it has an orangey sparkle to it. The black is a simple craft paint and the white is cast and craft white pigment. Once my colors are mixed and ready to go, I start adding resin to the mold. Using my black color, I am pouring down the sides first because I want to make sure the resin falls down the sides and has good coverage. After that, I start adding the sparkly crushed glass and then the orange and then the white. Once my colors have been added to the mold, then it is time to add some heat. The heat helps to minimize the air bubbles and it helps to blend the colors to create some really cool effects. Now it is time to add the extra special part that brings out the Halloween theme glow-in-the-dark bones that I got from Michael's Arts and Crafts. I am adding them to the center of each side of my purse and I will push them around to get them to the design that I like. Once they have been added, I will drizzle on some clear resin just to make sure they are secured and glued in place. When I am done, adding the glow-in-the-dark bones, I will cover and let sit for 12 to 24 hours. Now it is time to demold our resin purse pieces. These do come out fairly easy from the mold, but I do recommend you wait over 12 hours. Demolding with soft resin is not fun. I am using a cuticle trimmer to shave off the rough edges of the resin from when I overfilled my mold. This cuticle trimmer is super handy and super easy to use and it gives a clean finish to the purse pieces. Now it is time to glue the pieces into the purse frame. I am dry fitting the pieces in place just to make sure they fit nicely and making sure that it opens easily. I will use E6000 glue, it's my favorite glue, to glue the pieces in place. I do one side at a time. I add the glue and then I add the resin piece and then I let it dry. Once that piece is dry, then I'll flip it over, glue the other side and let that side dry. Once my purse is secured into the frame, I'll grab the purse handle and clip it on. This handle came with the purse kit. I love how this turned out, but looking at it, it needs a little bit more characteristic to it. I decided to add some more of the glow-in-the-dark bones around the outer edges of the purse. I take my glue, put a small strip along the top, and on both sides, I am adding some bones. 
I will do this along the sides of the purse as well. But I will not do it on the bottom because I would like my purse to stand up. The bones will make the purse wobbly. And there it is. I hope you have enjoyed this super fun project. I would love to see what you are working on. You can find me on Facebook at the Paint Pour Academy Community Group. When you join the group, just let me know you found me on YouTube and then you can share your art with me. I would love to see what you're working on. Thank you for creating with me. I will see you in the next video.